limit, but now it's not. Um, so basically, how this deck works is once you get <coughs> Pillapala and Grand Architect in play, you generate infinite mana. Okay? It's very much like the Devoted Druid Vizier combo deck, except it plays different um, different pieces around it to enable it. So, like Trinket Mage finds your Hang of Wreck Walkers and your Ballistas. In some matches, Ronus and Kefnet are very good. And coupled with Training Grounds, they just draw a lot of cards or act, act, get a lot of activations for you in order to... You know, in order to gain a lot of value. So we're gonna run this run this through a league tonight. Um it was a, I was I, I like the Pro Tour as well there. Nameless. I like the Pro I I, I always like team tournaments. But we're going to jump into this league. I think team tournaments are awesome. I know, I know, like, sometimes they can be a logistical nightmare. But I am a very big fan of team tournaments. <coughs> the Nexus of Fate deck looks so sweet. I know they're changing... I know they're changing the, um, the Nexus of Fate, um, how it's distributed on Moto. So I'm going to look to give that a whirl. But we're going to give this spice rack a try today. Just already, I'm sorry, I put one game in my opponent's head. 240 cards in the library. You playing against a Battle of Wits deck? Two hundred forty cards. That doesn't make sense. <clears throat> I don't know. <clears throat> All right. I would like to play first. And this hand is a mulligan. There's another mulligan. Tough way to start. Going down to five. All right. This hand's pretty sweet. So actually, it's not that far away from having a. Uh, from having a kill here, because the only thing I need, I need land Grand Architect, and then I'm good here. And we find our walkie boy, and we get there. I'll be right back. I need to grab my phone. All right, flame vice. Well, it's hollow one. So tap two, two and untap. Add one cannon of any color. I guess I'm just gonna run out this pillapala because I don't want if they kill it. At least I have a second one here. I got worked today in my uh, IQ. I didn't get worked. I actually, play, I played a really tight match. Against Ben Nikolic, and he got me in three games, three really good games. Um, and then I lost to Shadow Mirror. And that was a bummer. <clears throat> it, it's basically this creature, it works with Grand Architect to make infinite mana. Because, like, Grand Architect lets you tap uh, a colorless creature for two mana. You have to make it blue. Then Grand Artifact lets you tap a colorless mana creature. Then you untap it, make a mana. Tap it, make two mana. And then you, like, untap it, make a mana. So you're making one mana every time. Yeah, a little Scarecrow that could. 
And then we're going to get wrecked here. We mulligan to five to start out, which is kind of rough. <clears throat> this isn't like a really explosive draw. Um, I guess I play the recruiter. I want to attack for one. So I could try to trade with this flame blade adept. Yeah, I'm gonna try to trade with the flame blade adept. This is just a deck that my friend plays, and he wanted to do like. I was trying to grow the stream. He's like, you should let me donate to, you know, have you play a deck. And um, I was like, sure. And I and this deck ended up actually being over my credit limit. So from card holder, so I couldn't stream it. And now I finally can. So I think I'm going to try. And then after this, um, after this league, I'm either going to play some lands or I'm going to play humans. <coughs> Waking up, I just took a nap. I got worked today in that IQ, and I just came home, watched Pro Tour, and took a nap. <coughs> okay. So, what is this? 2, 4, 10. So, if I hit a land next turn, I'm going to win. I'm going to play Pillow Pal combo. Legacy Shadow just made the second. Okay. Shadow Jet. You want to play? Oh, you're talking about late, uh, Johnson of Latency. How much is this? This is actually two, six. This is go to one. But I have the combo as long as I don't draw a fetch land. So I think we're just going to take it. All right. Come on. All right. No, I don't because I have to be able to make a creature blue. Right? Tap an untapped blue creature you control. <clears throat> I can make... Well, actually... No, I make one mana, right? No, because it's got to be a blue creature. Right? So, tar other, our other blue creatures you get, get plus one. Tap an untapped blue creature you control. Add... Two colorless. Yeah, so we needed one more mana because this isn't going to work. At least I'm going nuts here. Maybe. Yeah, see, I can't tap an untapped creature yet. <coughs> I don't like, I really didn't like Lantos's sideboard. Like, I just really don't like um, Leyline of the Void. Especially, like, The Legacy deck does look fun. So it gets Hollow One. I assume we want this. Um, Relic is probably okay. Um, Basilisk Collar is probably fine because you can mow stuff down with Ballista. I don't know if Chalice is okay. Chalice is probably too slow. Let's go like this. I needed to make. I needed to make a blue mana. Um. I needed to make a blue mana in order to make the Pillipala. Um, in order to be able to type the Pillipala, right? I need a blue mana. I need a blue mana to make a creature blue. Well, did, did I have a way to filter blue mana? If I did, then I messed up. Tap the creature you cast. Other blue creatures get plus one, plus one. Tap an untapped blue creature you control. Add two mana. But you, you need to have um, blue. You need actual blue mana to have target artifact creature become blue, right? Am I missing something?
Well, no, I didn't have. So wait, wait, wait. Tap to add one. Add one man of any color. Untap. Then make it blue. Ta yeah, I did. Yep. Yeah, I messed it up. It's a good way to start. I, we probably don't need the cash net. Target player puts the top card in his own library. Minus your gaze plus six plus six. You have to remember X is that card's converted to mana cost. Oh, so this is just, I probably won't need this. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I, no, I could, yeah. I could have done it. Probably don't need Spell Skite yeah, or Eternal Witness. Let's try this. Because, like, I could have attacked with the Pillapala. Then tap the Grand Architect to make two mana. Untap the Pillapala, make a blue mana. Make it blue with Grand Architect and... Brrr, yeah. All right, so we're going to keep this. We have a Training Grounds, which means it only costs two mana to use this Ballista. And it kind of turns on the rest of the deck. So... It's a little slow, but I want to keep it because they have training grounds. <clears throat> I don't know if this hand's actually good or not, but I think I want to try. I want to have training grounds in my opener. Okay, so let's go like this. The hobby brand concede with the win on board. Yep. That happens. That happens. <clears throat> it's not only cost me two mana to put a counter in my ballista. So like next turn I'll play Grand Architect, and then I'll put two counters on this, and then shoot this Flame Wake down. <clears throat> That's something that I definitely struggle with. Okay, we'll let this happen here. Oh man, we hit. We got rid of our cord. That's something that I definitely struggle with as a Magic player, like, what just happened, is that if I'm not, like, practiced, I can't just pick a deck up and play it, you know? I've got to uh, sit down and go through the motions. So we're going to bring back the Flame Wake. Are we going to delve and play Tassiger? I do think after this, I'm going to, um, I do think after this, I'm going to play humans, though. Humans or lands. <clears throat> Get a little break from Shadow. I got work today. I'm going to try something new. Basilisk Collar. Okay. So I can just play the Basilisk Collar and equip, just to like threaten, threaten mowing my creatures, like if they try to kill this thing. And then next turn, I can put two counters on it, and then just start mowing them down. I don't know, I need, if somebody can give me Josh Utter Layton's deck in text form, and then let me see how much... It costs. I don't know how much it costs. It might be outside of my credit limit. Because <clears throat> I need like an actual list in order to put into um, card order. All right, so. I agree with the Kira's Joey. There's not a huge I'm not a huge ley line person. Burning Inquiry. Okay, so we hit another Grand Architect. 
<clears throat> is it? Well, let me see. Let me see how much it is on Moto. Oh, yeah, it's like super. I can't play this on Moto. I've got... Well, I mean, I guess... So, hang on. Let me look how many fetch lands I... Let me see what I have for fetch lands. He's got, what, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fetch lands. They don't really matter what they are. <clears throat> so now I have to figure out how to like make mana. I'm gonna play Grand Architect. Because if I can I can go play Ballista for two, equipped shoot, but like that just doesn't get me anywhere. So I'm gonna play the Great Architect. Try to survive one more turn, and then I should be able to play Ballista, make it larger. Like I play Ballista for two, make it blue, tap it for two. If I draw a land, I can put one counter on it and shoot this thing. <clears throat> yeah, I gotta see what I have for fetch lands. Let me see. Let me go sort by rarity. Come on, Moto. So I have four Bloodstained Myers. Uh, how many polluted deltas do I have? Do I have no deltas? But I was losing it. All right, I'll look. I'll look after. Take, take three. All right. <clears throat> there's bolt me, and then shoot me. Another trying to shoot me. They don't have a bolt. Now they have a bolt. All right, you got it. You got it. It's nine fetch lands. Give me a second. Let me look how many fetch lands I have. Because like I, I can play them with whatever fetch lands. I don't know if it's a deck. Give the people what we want, Dylan. Let me look here. Uh, polluted. Do I just have no polluted deltas? Do I just have... If I just have Bloodstained Myers, then... Yeah, I just have Bloodstained Myers. So even if I knock off, what are the most expensive fetch lands? The most expensive fetch lands are... One Scalding Tarn... One, two, let me just start the next league here. Um, so make Scalding Time, Polluted Deltas. Okay, so cut off these Verdant Catacombs, cut off these Scalding Tarns, and one of these... I think I'm still off it by quite a bit. Let me look here. Show in folder. <clears throat> Let me look here. 
Dude, the throne of the get is so sweet to knock off Chalice. Alright, we're gonna keep this hand. Okay, so let's make these bloodstained mires. We cut these bloodstained mires off. So I have two of those. Cut off the verdant catacombs. So I have to rent five fetch lands. Which fetch lands are? Yeah, it's still like really high, unfortunately. They're borrowed, yeah. Yeah, the only... That proliferate thing is annoying. It's kind of cool when you think about it, because you play it, sack it. I was listening to LSV say this, and it shuts off them from playing another Chalice. So it's just Chalice on two, which means they can't re-Chalice you, which he certainly, he said, was very sweet. Throne is only better if really he just said it was to just be able to chalice on two. That was the only the oh I played the wrong land. All right, whatever. He said I was talking here. He said that the chalice was it was just there to make it so that you could knock it off. Okay, so I probably should fetch a land here. <clears throat> Probably want Island, and then I'm going to play the Training Grounds. I don't want to play a creature right into this. <clears throat> like, that was... He said... Like, LSV said that it was, it was very narrow. So Walking Blister should be pretty good here. This Trigger Mage just goes get another Walking Blister. Deck looked good. Like, just the fact that they could reanimate creatures in order to enable their shadow. Alright, well, I think we're going to want mana. So let's just go like this. I don't think the Hangerback Walker is annoying. I'm assuming the Hangerback Walker will be very good here. Okay. Yeah, that gets bolted. F6. So now I kind of don't even want to play either of these pieces, unfortunately. I guess I can play the Walking Ballista because, because if I play the Ballista, then it's going to give me the opportunity, or like I can get another... Pull this stuff in this trinket mage. <coughs> I would assume playing Kolagon's command, playing its Kolagon's command deck with this is awful. Because my opponent's just going to go like bang, bang. Shoot this. Shoot this. <coughs> Okay, so I guess we're going to end step that, and then try to get somewhere here. I think it's getting hosed by, and Bob putting in more work there than Throne. Okay, yeah, I mean, I guess that depends on how popular Throne of, Am Throne of Amethyst is. How you doing, Nathan? The walkie boy, for sure. 
I conceded with the win on the board to start the stream. <clears throat> All right, so I guess we get Kefnet. He can't beat a Kefnet. Oh, my God, he can't beat a Kefnet. How great is that? Two-fifth on these. Nice. Okay, so this only costs three mana now, or two mana to do this. So let's, you know, I probably don't want to bounce a land. No. Play a land. My god, this kid that's gonna ruin him, dude. Playing, <laughs> we're playing uh, modern pillow pile of combo. It's basically like devoted druid combo, but it does it a little differently. <clears throat> Dude, he can't beat this Kefnet. He's just gonna add, he's like stone dead to this Kefnet. Oh my god, this this deck is great. This deck's gonna break the format. So so excited. Ditches a blood moon. He's playing the deck. All right, dude. Yeah, man, just Inquisition my stuff. I'm going to draw 42 cards. I did. I did get clowned last night when I was playing this. <coughs> we got a Pyromancer here. Feather Rebel. Okay. Oh, one Pilly Boy. The Pilly Boy won last night. This is a push. So they're done with their turn. So now we can just start drawing cards with this Kefnet. I literally can draw like a million cards a turn now. No. So now I can actually make a land drop here using Kefnet. Yes. Ditch this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, smack him with a. <laughs> My opponent's probably just like rolling over in their chair. That's not how it worked last night. <laughs> Dude, this indestructible thing is great. I can just draw more cards. God, my opponent can't be. Oh, this is great. Exalted Kefnet. Welcome to <laughs> Oh, this is great. I'm both just like, I don't know what to do. I, I hope they scoop. God, I hope they scoop and then just like salt off to me in the chat. I probably would salt off to them, let's be real. Alright. You got soul power. Now I just need to find a walking blister. This thing's going to smack me for five, which kind of hurts. I've only got two blisters left, but I've got, like, a bunch of tricky mages. Bolt. Yeah, that would... I, I would I'd be like, wow, we're not having any more fun now. Uh, no. Trinket mage. Okay. I would like to go get Trinket Mage's ability. I would like to find a Walking Blister. <clears throat> I kind of just want to have more mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Have I already drawn a card? No, I made a land drop. So I guess I just pass. Oh, I could get the E. Yes. How do I have the combo in hand, Nathan? Play the Pillow Power.
Oh, you're saying this here makes it's summoning sick though. <clears throat> the EE probably would have been better. But again, we're playing this game fast and loose. <clears throat> I should have attacked my Kep Cap. Yeah, I need a recruiter to find the blue guy. Yeah, okay. I thought you meant like I had it in my hand already. I'm probably just going to chump this Bedlam Reveler. I'm going nuts, Cat Teddy. I can't handle this. This is like the whole new a whole new world for me. We're gonna play we're gonna play this league fast and loose, then we're gonna get serious for the next one. Coligon's command. You got it. They shocked me, okay? I'm just going to chump the Bedlam Reveler. <clears throat> yes, I would agree. So let's chump this. Now I have to think if I can actually win or not. If I don't think I can, then I, I might just play a Ballista and like mow down all their Lingering Souls. <clears throat> yeah, with Recruiter, sure. All right, so I play this guy. Or I could just play a Ballista for two, three, or two. I would source this time. Why would you play Recruiter, Nathan? I'm going to die. All right, so here's this. I think that's the one we want. Okay. Tap an untapped blue creature you control. So do I actually win now? Next turn, okay. So then I might as well just play another Trinket Mage. I've got one more Ballista in my deck in order, in case my opponent plays off. And so I didn't, have I made a land this turn? I'm going to drop this turn. Okay, so I can draw a card with Kefnet. Do I have to play the Pillipala, Nathan? <clears throat> Trigger Mage for the EE is probably good as well. I probably should have done that earlier. One, two, three, so play this Trinket Mage. Go get Walking, or go get, probably just another, we go get EE just in case this, this, gets, this gets weird. Oh, the EE's not in the main deck. EE's in the sideboard, okay. <clears throat> okay, so then how does this work? So... Target artifact creature will tap an artifact creature. Lightning helix me. Oh, I'm dead. They play burn. Alright, so we're gonna bring in the EE here. I would have won that game if we'd have been on top of it, I think. But again, this is like this is like why I struggle with this kind of thing. Because I don't know this deck and I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose a lot of percentage points picking a deck up to start. So we want the EE. Probably. Don't want Basilisk Collar, don't want Needle, want Kira. Don't want Chalice. I probably want Chalice. Chalice and Dispel are probably fine. Let's try this. The cords probably aren't great. <coughs> We're in a competitive, which is it's probably why it probably was not good. We probably want all these six. Um the Ronus seems good, the spell Skite seems good. This mind shrieker seems stupid. Kefnet is great. Um, the Ronus doesn't seem good because it's just going to kill whatever I target. 
And like while it does work well with training grounds, it's probably not great besides that. And maybe for that reason the Kefnet's not great, because without training grounds it's probably not very good. Probably can shade like well, bliss is probably okay. I want to cut one to spell. Let's try this. The, the chalice is just for like removal decks, but I guess that does <clears throat> that makes sense. I, sh I, don't, I shouldn't play the chalice. You're right. <clears throat> the chalice isn't good. Don't let me do this. Come on, Moto. Alright, whatever. We're going to figure it out. Alright, so we have a training grounds on one, so we're going to keep. <clears throat> They're just going to kill every creature that I target with Ronus. So I, think, I don't think that one's that great. My opponent Mulligan, which is kind of sweet. Let's get a breeding pool. If my opponent plays an E for one, I'm going to be sad. Yeah, but you also hit, like, bonus can target Kefnet. All right. All right. That's, that's legit. Oh, I took my Kefnet. Alright, so I kind of want to wait on this until I can activate it. So let's just... We're going to put EE... E, we're going to put this on Scarecrow. And then I'm just going to run this thing out. Play the Recruiter next turn. You're killing me, Rafi. Oh, we got no lands there. Don't have a discard spell. Come on. <clears throat> I do get more viewers when I play Shadow, for sure. But I do owe this one to Nathan. So we're going to try this. And then I think I'm going to play Humans after. All right. So let, I'm just going to like play this. I guess I can play Noble Hierarch too because that lets me play Collected Company. And like now it's like you know whatever whatever you want to kill. <clears throat> I saw that yeah. Oh, they took my company. Don't kill my you know, kill my recruiter too. All right, no. Okay, we're good. I'm surprised Hollow One won that one. So this is Chalice. I can Chalice for three. Or I can just draw a million cards. Okay, Spell Skite. That's a good one. Then attack. <clears throat> You think we have a good matchup against Hollow One? I think that one's close. I'm not really sure it's actively good. I'm not trying to play against Hollow One. I'm like, fist pump. I drew my sideboard card. Don't even want to cast it. Probably not going to have it in the next game. I feel like we should be able to grind this deck out. Nahiri. Okay. You may exile target tapped artifact. Yeah, we can't we can't uh, we can't redirect this. Alright, so let's take this walking ballista. I think it's actually good. Hmm. All right, so now we're probably just going to blow up these spirits or just draw another training grounds. All 
So I could just play this hanger back walker. So I can just attack here. Play a Ballista for two. And then next turn, play the Training Grounds, and then clear up um, my opponents. But, like, that doesn't necessarily work. Or I could just play Chalice on three, and then they can't defend this thing anymore. I think I'm going to play this for two. Then I can play it next turn and activate it. Clear out some Lingering Souls tokens. <clears throat> okay. Alright, that's legit. So I can eat my Recruiter. But then we just start Training Grounds Ballistas. <clears throat> And then we're actually like kind of close to killing our opponent. Okay. And here comes the Lingering Souls. Okay. You got it, dude. So now I can attack with my Walking Ballista. Then we're going to put a counter on it now. All right, well, we're going to let this happen. Put a counter on the Blista. And then we're just going to chill because next turn we're going to kill him. <coughs> All right. We won a game, chat. We won a game. Let's see if we can take him out. I think we can beat this deck. I actually think we can probably just outgrind this deck. Let's see where this chalice. This Ron is actually good. I feel like every single creature I'm going to target with this Ronus is going to kill me. Unless I can put Ronus plus Kefnet together, but that seems kind of. Especially like I'm boarding out some quarter callings. Maybe I'll bring in like one now. Nah. We'll play another Dispel. What's Dispel do? Just counters removal spells. So Dispel is probably not even that great. I bet Kitchen Finks is actually decent. Maybe that's just for burn though. I don't know. Let's try this. YOLO. <coughs> Yeah, things like can't be terrible, right? And then we probably just keep our hand because it's going to get discarded anyways. <coughs> Pillow Pad does not deserve to win. I could second that. I could second that. Probably just take... They might take my Kitchen Finks or my... And the nice thing about this deck is this whole deck is just two-for-ones, right? Between the Finks, the Trinket Mage, sometimes Ballista. You guys are sure excited me for, for getting shit on by everything. I am, I am not excited about that because I want you to win. Should I play Bugle on the side? I'm, gonna, I'm just going to play, Teddy, I'm just going to play uh, Jim Davis's deck tonight because 
Like, so for GP uh, Detroit, I'm either going to play Grixis Shadow or I'm going to play Humans, I think. And I just want to make sure that, like, the Bugler doesn't make Grixis, doesn't make Humans busted. So I'm, I'm going to play a lot of them tonight to draw it, whether right, wrong, or indifferent. If you heard a, if you heard a ley line of the void. I probably should be an adult and get an island. Like, just in case here. <clears throat> so you playing a PTQ? When are you playing your PTQ? I think Abden. I think I really think Abden Traverse is like fine. Like, I think I think it's I think it might be the better. It might be one of the better mid range decks because it's just has an actual clock. So I'm gonna go with if they. I'm gonna fetch a basic here. I think if they had Liliana, they would board it out in this matchup. And the Kefnet in play is better than the Kefnet in my hand. It's still just trash. Let's get another island. <coughs> yeah, that is a little slow. What do you think of that Death Shadow deck to, this weekend then? They do nothing. They probably have a K command they were sitting on. All right, well, they got soul power. All right, we're going to pass. I feel like this is an awful matchup for my opponent. <coughs> I think the metagame has perfectly built an entire sideboard to stop taxes. Are you talking about, like, that's why you... Um, I don't think we have anything that can block these flyers, so we're just going to, like, pass here. I think the metagame is perfectly built an entire sideboard. I would agree. I mean, he had three Dreaded Knights in his board, right? Like, that's... Like, some Death and Taxes player hurt Josh Heller Layton. Okay. <clears throat> there was not as much Sneaking Show as I thought there were going to be. But I guess what? Isn't Sneaking Show bad against Death and Taxes? Isn't that what the kids say? I feel like if I find a training ground, I'm just going to kill this guy. <coughs> Sneaking Show is bad against DNT. Sneaking Show seems like the level one combo deck. Like, it seems pretty straightforward, does one thing, and does that one thing very well. But, like, everyone knows what you're going to do. Alright, so we get this. And probably just Grand Architect, right? To have a million mana. Yeah. Yeah, my opponent is so dead. It does cost a lot of mana to do this. Is this a creature legendary? So what do I want to do? One, two, three, four, five. Let's just play another one of these. Then I can go... I can actually, what, what is, I can tap, untap blue creature I control to add mana, and I can play Kitchen Fink, so let's just go creature O-U-P-H-E, and then after this we're going to start going nuts with Kefnet, but there's probably just like no reason to like, oh I can only spend this to make, to, to play artifact creatures. Okay, so that didn't work. But we're going to send in with this. Should play my tap land, but whatever. <clears throat> I always wanted to play um, the combo. Now that Gifford was banned, it is the combo deck. Legacy. I always wanted to play like so. Tonight, I either want to play um, 
I either want to play humans in my second league or I want to play legacy lands. I've always seen lands and wanted to play that deck. Just got it all. <clears throat> Just going to block this. It's going to take them two removal spells to kill this thing. Yeah, so I might play that tonight. All right, well, let's draw a card. Then I might as well just return this. Oh, wow, he can't even beat a hanger, hanger back walker. Um, yes, let's turn this. So how much mana can I have? I can make two, four, six. I guess it's not even worth it to play the hangerback walker until you can play it for like full price. <coughs> so then I'll just play this botanical sanctum. The next turn just play a hangerback walker for like 42. Then my opponent likely just is locked out of the game. I'm gonna bolt this, get it countered. All right, so kill my Kira. Sad. So I can still hang a back walker for two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I can hang a back walker for six next turn. It's the only yard hate. Spec. I would agree. If you're going to play that much yard hate, then I would cut your... Like, are you bringing that in against any fair decks? Like, are you going to bring in that graveyard hate against Mardu? Because <clears throat> if you're going to bring that graveyard hate against Mardu, I would play a fourth Liliana the Veil, and I would move your last hope to the sideboard. You doubt it? Okay. All right. Well, that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make, my statement makes no sense. I'm sorry. My statement makes no sense. I'm talking about sideboarding games. <clears throat> okay, so Trinket Mage, Walking Blista. I mean, I get Yard Hate against Mardu, but it's already right, a pretty good matchup. Yeah, I, I found that Grim Flare was like. The not like even when I was playing Jun Shadow, I found that I was beating up on um that I was beating up on on all tap and untap blue creature, tap this, tap this, tap this. I guess I want to get in for two, so like tap hang on. Tap this. Play a Ballista for four. Yeah, I found that like, once you got Grim Flare into your deck, that you were pretty favored in that matchup. Even though I was playing Jun Shadow. I really like Grim Flare as a card. Pume. Pume. And, like, I could be attacking my opponent. I could be just charging the Ballista, but, like, this is sweet. And we're here to be sweet. <clears throat> so next turn, I can put two, four, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. I can put three counters on my Ballista. But I'm not attacking. <coughs> Current list is. I always remember when I played this deck that I hated the toolbox sideboard. Because it was often like just wrong to not traverse for Tarmogoy for Grim Flare. You know what I mean? Like, 
you always just wanted to that that's why like you always just wanted to traverse for a clock. All right, we won a match, boys and girls. But I haven't played this deck in like a year. Like I like the bog. He's like D's. Gaddick Teague seems cute. Kataki seems cute. I get Rex Age and Shriek Ma. Throwing the last troll seems like a joke. In my opinion. Like all the control decks play Terminus and Wrath of God now. Right? Thrun's gone. Okay. Yeah, I liked Bajoku Bog. I liked Bog, Reclamation Sage, and like Kataki as my only bullets. Because it, oftentimes it was just wrong to not traverse for a Tarmogoy if you get a Beater. <clears throat> or a Grim Flare. But I, I always play the deck very aggressively. I play every single deck that I play very aggressively. Oh, uh, yeah, exactly. All right. Um, this hand is not very good. I think I'm going to mulligan. I'm going to mulligan, too. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to mulligan to five. That sucks. Yep, we'll put that on top. I think I'm actually going to play four buglers in my main deck. When I play the next league. Don't stub me. Don't stub me, bro. This is that feeling you have when your opponent, when you're like playing modern and your opponent plays a card that you don't know and your heart just like sinks. I think we are playing good Twitch Shadow. Thoughts, he's my trinket mage. <clears throat> I think when I play Shadow in the future, I'm going to try a version of Shadow without Faithless Looting the next time I stream and with Thought Scours. Purely because when I was playing against, I was playing against Nick today, and like it really hurt to not be able to have like instant speed cards to fight on his end step. <coughs> yes, very strong. How are you doing? How did you do the pro tour, Ben? I saw your, uh, I saw you tweeting about it. All right, play it out. My opponent will into five, so let's just like try to trade off their resources. Very bad, rough days. I mean, that's like the Pro Tour, right? So it's probably not that bad doing that. Bad, you know what I mean? What format did you play for your team? <clears throat> you know, like snap thought scour, yeah. What do you think of Magnus Lantos? A modern. I played Shadow with no Lava Man and a third Battle Rage in the board. I almost played a third Battle Rage in the board today when I played. I got beat up at an IQ though today. It was rough. Dismember into Death Shadow or Gurmag Angler. This matchup seems awful. Like the Synergy deck versus the Synergy Destroyer. <sighs> yeah, we're dead. Well, the problem with, like, Lava Man is that if the humans matchup has become 
more about killing them quickly than you don't want Lava Man. Though I found that the humans matchup has not, like, I'm not sure that they're much better against us. I do think it's changed. So I want this Chalice. I want this Relic. I want EE. I don't want Court of Calling. Probably Kira. I, I would assume he's going to load up on creatures. Um, the Mind Trigger is probably useless. Kefnet and Rona seem like they're not very good in this deck. I could bring in another Spell Skite. They're just going to attack me. <clears throat> I'm going to cut one of these because they're useless. Try this. So yeah, I definitely think that the Humans deck has changed since Bugler got adopted, but I think they are much, much more susceptible to getting their Aether Vial destroyed now. Because, like, that deck now, now it's like a very good Aether Vial deck, but, like, it's not, without Aether Vial, Militia Bugler is pretty clumpy. Yeah. I definitely don't like, I don't like Hollow One. I think Hollow One's fine, but I definitely don't like KC. I don't like any deck that plays. I, I don't like Ancient Stirrings. I wrote an article for Top Deck Productions a little while ago about how Ancient Stirrings had to go. This hand's so bad, but like, if I mulligan against this deck, it just gets so much worse. All right, whatever. We have Akira. We'll just maybe they just. Keep a hand where they don't have a discard spell. All right, let's two for one. So let's keep that on top. That gets us hanger back walker, which is a big game. <clears throat> yeah, like ancient stirrings is a joke, in my opinion. All right, whatever. I'm gonna run this thing out here. If they kill this, they kill this. I'm gonna be using my mana, so. Yeah, so I don't even know if Stoneforge Mystic is that good or not. What I hate about people that sit there and they make the Stoneforge Mystic argument is they say, oh, it will homogenize all the white decks. And I'm like, dude, all the blue decks play Snapcaster Mage. God, don't thought seize me. All right, well, I can't beat that either. Yeah. All right, we're going to take this. That shock. We're going to go Trinket Mage for Walking Ballista next turn. Oh, well, I think it might slide in every white deck. We're not attacking, but we are going to get an island. Go get. Oh, just go get Hanger Back Walker. We're so dead. <clears throat> now, I could crack them for three in the air and try to race and, like, maybe try to beat Battle Rage. Bolt doesn't do it unless you've got. There's Bolt Me. Gross. We're never actually beating Battle Rage, so let's just try to kill them. I should have gotten a I should have gotten a Walking Ballista if that was my plan. So I messed this up. Not necessarily. I certainly make modern taxes better. I think it goes into every white fair deck, right? We can't be Rage, so like, oh wow. See now, if I had a Walking Ballista, we would be, we would be good. Attack for three, play Walking Ballista. Holy shit, we're gonna beat this deck. It might even see playing like the, the control decks, yeah. But like, I don't even care about that. You know what I mean? Like, 
so what? You play, you get played in the. I, I, I think the homogenized combat is stupid because like every black deck plays Thoughtseize. <clears throat> every you know, we get ceremonious rejection, and that would suck. They scooped it up. We got him. Yeah, I would too. I would like them to unban a lot of stuff. <clears throat> exactly. Um, yeah. I agree. Dude, how sad is it going to be if I beat my own deck with this? I wish they would unban Green Sun Zenith. Like, my short list is unbanning Green Sun Zenith, Stoneforge Mystic. I think that's it off the top of my head. I mulligan. We'll keep this. Put a land on top. Not my turn three batter skull. Exactly. Exactly. The deck the format can be frustrating because of things like that. For sure. Dude, I love Founders all day IPA beer. <clears throat> Not gonna lie, this league is waning on me. I just pass. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I almost have six through my turn. I thought they were going to do something, and they passed. So we're just going to run this here, uh, Relic and Progenitus, right into a Stubborn Denial, if they got it. Okay. We're going to use this right now. Harass that Gurmag Angler. <clears throat> they have another Thought Scour, or they have a Street Wraith or a Bobble, they can still Gurmag Angler me. Still, all my statements still hold true. Yep, so we're about to get anglered. Oh, man. Oh, man. This thing's just going to beat my face in. <clears throat> I think we're probably going to just Trinket Mage for Hanger Backwalker next turn to buy us some time. Yeah, you got the thought. You got the thought scour, dude. At least they hit a battle rage, which is nice. Should be using this as soon as I get priority. <clears throat> After this deck, I'm actually kind of excited to play humans. I haven't played humans since the bugler was adopted. Probably gonna take. I don't know. That's actually a pretty good hand against Thoughtseize. I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out, playing kind of a fun, fun little meme. We're gonna get we're gonna get exciting here in the next one. We're gonna play humans or lands. I would assume we're gonna play humans. I don't really want to play lands after having like four beers. Get rid of this. Um, we'll just call this wizard. Then we're just going to chump with this trinket mage. Let's get... We could get chalice. 
Chalice for one, Chump, then Hangerback Walker. I kind of like that. <coughs> I'm going to feel so stupid if my opponent like plays two Death Shadows here. Just going to Chump. I probably should have attacked for one if this was my line. Oh, if this is a Death Shadow, I'm going to be so sad. I need to pay attention here because if they have priority, I have to. Like, if they can theoretically play a Gurmag Angler, then I should... Oh, man, they got a Chalice. They got a Chalice. I think it's 5-5. Five, five. So chalice was useless. I guess we're just going to be a Trinket Mage. We're just, like, super dead. It's like Hangerback Walker just buys us time, but we're only just keeping our head above water here. I guess I could have gotten EE. <coughs> we at least see this in a Battle Rage, which is what we can tell from how they fetched here. So at least they're flooding out. They're still going to like just destroy us. We take five. Play a hanger back walker for two and just pray. Yeah, I think it's... I just hope this works. Put me out of my misery. I mean, if they don't kill us here, we do get another blocker. Like two more blockers, which is great. They just bolt me. Like Hologons command me, sure. All right. That was fun, but I think I've had enough of this league. Let's play a real deck. I do not enjoy playing anemic anemic magic, and that is that is what this is. Moto's tweaking out on me. Wow, Moto's losing it. All right, hang on one second. Oh no, it's back. Maybe. Let me put this on here. All right, let's put on this sponsorship page. All right, we're gonna play some humans now. Let me go get this. All right, we're going to play humans. We're going to play some real stuff. <laughs> so I appreciate everybody showing up and hanging out tonight play some fun magic here play some now we're gonna play some real stuff we're not we're done we're done messing around loan orders let's download that Modern humans. All right. We're just waiting for Moto to load back up. We will wait for the nice people of Card Hoarder. 1477. Deck editor. Uh. <clears throat> All right, great. So let's get this. Upload my 
1477. God, Moto is such a quality program. <coughs> all right, so let's get. Wow, this is all. I hate how this changes every time. So add binder. Give me one second, everybody. This is just going to take you know a couple minutes here to trade with card hoarder. Uh, let me get into my league, drop my league. This deck is so miserable that it is not worth the $12 for me to, to give this a whirl. All right. Oh, I should have. I'm not even going to put this one on YouTube.